guys it is your girl Abington and this video is going to be slightly different to what you've been seeing recently I've been doing vlogs but I have got a video today I am going to be doing a um, a Blackpool Pleasure Beach haul of the merch and anything I bought from the gift shop and at Blackpool Pleasure Beach so Obviously this intro, I'm not going to leave it too long, um, I ended up spending like £46 but plus like one day before I did buy something else as well, so about 46 quid. I'll explain with the, I don't have a receipt but a lot of the things still have the labels on, I do remember prices so I will let you know how much they were. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video, uh, let's just get cracker lacking. So the, one of the first things I got, well yesterday I was there for two days but I only filmed one day there um, because I completely forgot to film on the first day but I also thought that the second day would be better because I was there longer so yeah so one thing I got was a little key ring with me and Zoe who I went with um, I don't think you're gonna see that very well um, of us with Gromit um, before we was trying to go on Wallace and Gromit ride it's just a little memorabilia however you'd say just a little photo just a reminder that i'm going to pop up my keys um i just thought it was a nice little touch to get and it's going to bring memories every time i pull my keys out so that was fun and that was like so it was like eight quid for one um and tr for two was 12 so i got one for me and i got one for zoe as well the other thing i bought was a new face mask and i wore it most of the day so it was just a little face mask and it is representing Blackpool at Pleasure Beach there but it also has a picture of the big one so this is what it looks like I've had to tie mine due to my ear it doesn't fill my ears very well but I always love having a, another face mask just you can't have too many nowadays can you really with the current situation going on it's important that we are wearing face masks to help prevent coronavirus so that's another thing I got uh, another thing I got which was actually ended up being free with one of my other purchases is just a little shot glass which I don't really gonna I'm not probably gonna use it as a shot glass because I don't really drink a lot so I might just use it as like I don't know decorational person or something on or give it to someone as a gift I don't know yet. I've not decided what I'm gonna do with it but it's just a little shot glass that's got um the big one on i don't it's really hard to show you the big one there we go so that was nice that's a nice little free little gift i got lovely so i don't know how much the shop glasses were actually were because oh my face mask was four pounds so not too bad for a face mask i don't know how much the shop, ugh, shop glasses were because like i said i got this for free i didn't actually have to pay for it so yeah so the next thing i got was a cup now i love cups like i love cups with straws in because i just think it's easy like i can have my smoothies and i can have my iced coffees and stuff in this so it's just a blackmore pleasure beach cup nothing too exciting and it's got a few of the different rides on and stuff like that um and it says blackmore pleasure beach on the bottom or does it even yeah um and this was Well, it's meant to be six pounds at uh, six pounds um, 96 but i only paid three pounds for it and with that it included the shot glass so that was nice um that was a nice little purchase and i'll get much use out of that as well another little thing i bought was this drinks um bottle thing because i'm always taking plastic bottles and then chucking them away in the recycling though um so it'd be nice to just have a little handy it's really hard to show you with my lighting because i kind of need like something to put but it's this icon um water bottle can which i will use for sure i really love the detail on this like it's really hard to show you but it's so pretty and you kind of just unscrew it put your drink in there and then it is a, I don't know if I can put the stupid thing back on again now. Well, that's supposed to do it. 
it and then it just lifts up like that. There we go. And this was £12.95. So it's a bit pricey in a sense, but it will come in handy and it will definitely last me for a long time. So it's going to get a lot of use as well. Another thing I bought, which I wasn't going to originally buy, literally when I walked into the shop, I was like, I do not need to buy anything. I already bought, you know, the day before, whatever, and I thought, I don't want to buy anything. But this was only £10. And I thought, do you know what? I'm going to get it. It's an icon, just an icon t shirt. Um, it's going to be more of like a loungewear top for me or if I just fancy just the jeans and a t-shirt um, this will probably wear it but all in all that's sort of happy purchase I'm glad I only paid a tenner for it because I couldn't see myself spending too much money on a t-shirt to be honest I think it was originally 17.95 I think but I'm trying to get the other label off to see if it will tell me because this was a reduced item you see yeah, seventeen ninety five. the shirt was originally, so it's really hard to show you because the lighting. Um, but no, so it's, it's really soft actually, it's really nice material. Um, I obviously got it in a lodge because I just like sometimes having it a bit bigger than my actual size. Just nice to lounge in or like to like have it baggy with a t with some jeans or something. So that was a nice little £10 purchase. Hmm. Just looking, I thought I saw a hole and now I just hit myself in the face with my label as well. There we go. Oh, that's just the bag that something else came in. I also got another top. Um, now, originally I wasn't going to buy it and then I was like, you know what, I'll get it. It's nice. I can't actually remember how much this was, was because it's not, I've not got a receipt for it, I don't think. Oh no, maybe I have. No, I don't have the receipt. It tells me on there what I paid. It doesn't actually tell me the individual item. So let me just see if I can find it in my bag without showing you the rest of the stuff I've got. No, I can't remember how much it was. I think, to be honest, it was like 12 95 I think. But it's just this, um, I can't remember what size is this. A large. This seems like a small for a large, but it's this little Blackpool Pleasure Beach top, um, and it's quite cute because it's got like a little. It's kind of like different colours. Um, so this is again just going to be like either a lazy, chillaxing lounge top, or I'm going to tuck it in and put some mum jeans with that, or something like that. Just nice. I love grey stuff as well. Like I love black, but grey is like my colour. Um, at the moment I'm loving grey um, so that's that um, I want to try and get as much wear out of these t-shirts as much as possible it's always nice to have some new just like t-shirts just to lounge in like I know I've got loads but I've had to chuck some recently just because they you know they when they're getting tatty and they're starting to like like just not they're losing their shape and stuff it's nice to just have new ones every now and then I'm trying to think what I haven't I shown you yet and then this was my first purchase when I first went in to the shop because this was on the Sat the Tuesday. Um, I bought also bought some candy floss, but I ate that and some drinks as well. But I drank them. It's this Icon mug, and I just love the detail. And they did a black version as well in the mug, but I just like the white version because it really brings out the pink. And really brings out the gold on the top what's well, meant to be like gold i just think the white it stands out more on the white but that's what it is and i know i'll get plenty of use out of this mug um it's really nice and to be honest it was seven there was a deal on these mugs as well but i only picked up one because i only need one mug um and seven pounds ninety five is not too bad for buying a mug from a uh, like an amusement theme park kind of thing i think that was really good pricing to be honest and the detail in on this mug is is beautiful, but I don't mind paying that much for a mug. So yeah, that that was like I just said seven ninety five. I think I'm cutting it's getting to the end now because I didn't buy like I didn't buy loads because I didn't want to, and I also bought some 
you can't go wrong with a bit of fudge you can't really see that because of the packaging on it but that was fudge um and they were originally two pounds 95 but in another shop i went into in there they were like three pounds to four pounds and for some strange reason these ones in the shop i went into when i was at pleasure beach these were only one pound 95 so i couldn't go wrong i thought you know what i might as well add this to my purchase so i got some fudge just to give them a go um also with the, when i purchased everything i also um i think that's everything I also paid a pound when, but you know, when you pay for a ba bag nowadays, I paid a pound for more of a bag for life, which just says Pleasure Beach on there. So I'm quite happy with everything. Um, I'm going to try and use them all as much because, you know, it was a bit of money that I spent. And I don't normally spend that much money when I go to theme parks or anything like that. I don't normally like going, but it was everything's nice and I was like, I'm here on holiday I might as well just like treat myself there's nothing wrong with doing that as long as you're aware of when you look at your bank account the next day it might look a bit different to what you thought it was going to but never mind too hard um yeah I also had a really good time at Blackpool um and enjoying a new park that I've really not properly been to and experienced was really nice I went with great company my friend Zoe um it was really nice i'm glad she took me and i'm glad she picked me i wanted to go for a while but it was just gonna cost me a hell of a lot of money and then she was like well we're going anyway do you want to come along so that was nice of her to invite me so it made it a lot easier on me and then i won't um so it was really nice i would love to go again um but i just don't know if it's gonna happen this season well this year due to everything that's going on now um you know so just see what happens but it would be nice to go back and try it without face masks as well because like don't get me wrong i don't mind wearing a face mask on rides but i think it changes your certain experiences on certain rides because you because you are restricted on the mouth and having to know that your face mask is technically falling off in some of the rides you know it's all in all it was a great experience and i would like to go back again but next time i go i do not want to spend as much money as i did but no anyway guys i hope you've enjoyed this little uh Blackpool Pleasure Beach haul um, and if you'd like to see more videos like this then please let me know in the comments below so you so just before I end this and uh, leave you guys I would like to just say please subscribe like and comment which means commenting can be varied as video ideas how I'm doing if you liked it if you enjoyed it or any advice you can give me because I'm still learning anything like that would be really appreciated um, also i will link my so um, all my social medias you can find me on and yeah so i really thank you guys for watching this video and i hope to see you guys soon i love you all bye